Hi, I'm Jim Carroll. I'm a Futurist Trends and Innovation Expert. And I'm here today at the facility for Ignora, Architectural Glass North America. This is one of the leading companies in North America when it comes to the manufacturing of advanced glass architectural products. Products you will find in Times Square, in Apple stores throughout North America. And this facility is located in Collingwood, Ontario, on the shores of Georgian Bay, Lake Huron. It's an organization that has discovered the opportunities of what to do when the world gets flat, put a ripple in it. Advance your capabilities, develop advanced manufacturing capabilities, put out a premium product to your client base, establish yourself as a world-class innovator in the world of architecture. And I'm going to take you on a bit of a tour as to what is happening in the world of manufacturing as companies like Ignora reinvent themselves for opportunity that comes with innovation in a world of high velocity change. And I'm going to be the keynote speaker of the 2016 Greater Philadelphia Manufacturing Conference. I'm going to be talking to you about the renaissance occurring in North American manufacturing. And here's a bit of a tour as to what I'm going to be focused on as this sector reinvents itself at a furious pace to discover new opportunities and succeed in the global economy in ways that people haven't thought about before. And you know what we need in the world of manufacturing? We need a new industrial revolution. And the fact of the matter is, it's happening right now. Look, there is so much going on in the world of manufacturing. It's an industry that is ripe for disruption because there are people who are dreaming big, big, bold ideas on how we can reinvent this sector. The popular buzz with North American manufacturing is that it's dead, it's dying, it's in a period of decline. Nothing could be further from the truth because organizations in the sector are reinventing themselves at a furious pace, reinventing their skills, reinventing their capabilities, using digital technologies to streamline process, using significant capabilities to design products faster, conceive of new markets, and conceive of new products. What used to take 10 days to produce a ton of steel can now be done in as little as two hours. What used to take 10 weeks in production of sheet metal components can now take as little as an hour. Organizations are focusing on faster time to market. How do we design faster? How do we sketch to scale? How do we bring products to market faster than ever before? Look, in this new world of manufacturing, smart wins over cheap. In the world of manufacturing today, we're in a world in which we can design, test, build, redesign, test, build, and redesign again. We're in a world of rapid prototyping, the ability to conceive and design products faster than ever before. Some people call this sketch to scale. The ability to conceive of products and design them and develop them in ways that have never previously been possible. That's because we've got advanced design capabilities and technologies. The ability to 3D print products, to test them and see if they work before we commit to full scale reproduction. This is leading to new opportunities to enter markets faster, to conceive of new opportunities, to figure out what markets we can get into faster than ever before. It really is helping to lead to this reinvention of the sector. 3D printing, additive manufacturing. There can't be more exciting buzzwords in the world of manufacturing than those phrases today. And the fact is they're real. Look, what is happening here with 3D printing additive manufacturing is truly transformative because what it is providing to the world of manufacturing is the ability to generate new ideas and turn those ideas into products faster than ever before. And you know what? It's really not something that is new. The Range Rover today in production already includes 12,000 3D printed parts. Airbus has been using 3D printing for its A380s for some of the component parts for quite some time. Right now, it's very much a niche activity, but what we are gonna witness in the near future is 3D printing moving from small scale production into full scale production capabilities. And it's almost like the early days with the arrival of personal computer technology, which led to a flood of new ideas, a burst of imagination, a burst of creativity as people realized what they could do with advanced technologies to truly change the world. That's what we're going to witness in the coming years with 3D printing technology. The Internet of Things, hyperconnectivity. This is another trend which is having profound implications on the world of manufacturing. 
And look, there's really two things that are happening. Every device that is a part of our daily lives is becoming plugged into the internet. We're adding intelligence to the products we manufacture. That's going to lead to a significant change in what we need to do with the manufacturing process. Because suddenly, every single product is going to have to have semiconductors. It's going to have, have connectivity built into it. That's going to lead to a significant change in what we do on the plant floor. Because all of a sudden, every manufacturing company becomes a high-tech manufacturing concern. The other aspect of the Internet of Things, or hyper-connectivity, is that the entire plant floor is going to change. We are going to layer all kinds of connectivity throughout the manufacturing process. It's going to bring tremendous gains in efficiency, in terms of productivity, in terms of machining, in terms of tooling. As we migrate capabilities and skills into the cloud so we can recover and reuse those skills at any time, we'll be able to have greater visibility throughout the plant into the entire manufacturing process to see where we are achieving peak performance, to see the status of the entire manufacturing line, to understand to a greater degree with greater depth just how well we are working and what we can do to tweak it to become more efficient and more productive over time. The world of the Internet of Things is going to lead to boundless opportunities. And it is another reason why the world of manufacturing is undergoing a significant reinvention. You know, one of the most exciting things happening in the world of manufacturing today has to do with what we call the maker economy. It's closely related to crowdfunding, crowdsourcing, and what we call micro factories. Look, we exist in a world today where somebody in their garage at their home kitchen table can conceive of a product they can design it using advanced capabilities on their home computer. And then they can take it to a small factory somewhere in the world which can produce it for them in small quantities of scale. We've seen the emergence of entire new forms of business in ways that would not have previously been possible 10 years ago because of the existence of these maker communities and the emergence of micro factories. Keep your eyes on this trend because it has significant implications for innovation and where we go in the future. What's really happening in North American manufacturing? It's this. Sure, it's true that there are fewer unskilled workers being hired today, but the fact of the matter is manufacturing in North America today is taking in more skilled workers, scientists, people who can analyze logistics, people who can redesign process, people who are bringing in advanced digitization and design skills into the uh, manufacturing complex. You know, the reality of what is occurring is each skilled manufacturing job, which averages about $90,000 a year, is creating 3.5 other skilled manufacturing jobs. This is leading to significant growth in skilled employment throughout the manufacturing sector, and it's bringing about very significant change. Here's an interesting statistic. At a Johnson & Johnson contact lens manufacturing plant, it can now take four workers to produce in 12 hours what that same plant would produce 10 years ago in one year. That's indicative of what is happening. The sector is being reinvented, transformed, a lot of innovation occurring, a lot of opportunity for those who are willing to think big, dream big, and do big in the new world of North American manufacturing.